a state where marijuana is fully legal, using marijuana tincture three times a month in the evenings after work around the time she had her menses. Working part-time at a hospital, was asked by the hospital to come work full-time. Said, okay. Said, well, you'll have to do an employee physical and that'll include a drug test. And she said, well, just so you know, I'm using marijuana tincture three times a month around my menses after work, never use it at work. They're like, no problem whatsoever. Just go do the test. Does the test, it comes back positive for THC. The hospital lawyer's like, um, just go get cleared by the PHP. She just sort of blindly, and, and this unfortunately, it happens all the time that people who have no knowledge of PHP, no fault of their own, they just don't know anything about them. They, and then what happens is what happened to this woman. They say, hey, you got to go out of state for a four day evaluation at a cost of $6,000. She's like, what? Wait, wait a second. And then she she agrees to go. I read the records. So this is not secondhand. They did a hair sample, which showed no THC in it. Hair samples provide a 90 day window. They diagnosed her with severe marijuana dependence. And they said, you need to stay here for 60 days at a cost of $60,000. And she said, I, I can't do that. Uh, first person, my family has gone to med school. I'm three years out of training. I can't afford that. They said, isn't your career worth it? She said, I'm going to think about it. The second she started to walk away, that program called her PHP, said she's non-compliant. PHP called the Board of Medicine Interstate and said she's non-compliant. The board forced her to come sign a voluntary agreement not to practice. She did that. She hasn't worked as a doctor in the last seven or eight years. I'm speechless.